and we're announcing today the introduction of a constitutional amendment to define marriage. Uh, the proposed constitutional amendment will ask voters to define marriage solely between one man and one woman in the state of Minnesota. Are we afraid to let Minnesotans discuss this and vote? How in the world are we going to be a state that can beat something like this? No one has ever beat one of these, and so we have to figure out how, how what are we going to do that's going to make the difference? And I did have a dream that Minnesota would be the first state in the nation to reject this kind of... put it on the ballot so early and it gave us a tremendous amount of time to organize. We spent time looking at the other states saying, okay, what do they do, what worked, what didn't work, and what do we need to do differently here in Minnesota? To me, there's more intrusion of the state by restricting marriage in this amendment than there is uh, protection for religious communities. You can be opposed to this amendment because of your faith and not in spite of it. I didn't really think a lot about same-sex marriage. We had a, um, a gay couple live in our neighborhood. They had adopted a little son, and they, they were the most wonderful neighbors. It's okay to take a second look. And when you do, vote no. We were asking people to stay open, take a second look at this. You know, it's right at the beginning of the campaign. We really want you to stay with us. This is going to be a conversation. Part of it was the arc of history was on our side. The room erupted. There was this mixed feeling that night, like, oh my god, we did it. We're not really done. <laughs> you know, we're not done yet. Minnesota, 